what's going on guys dr brute 7 signing in back with another tutorial video so i'm going to be showing you guys how to set up emunand on your nintendo switch so this video is specifically for the first time jailbreak users not for the users who have been on sysnand for quite some time you guys just don't even take this approach because it's going to be useless for you guys. Sysnand users, including myself, we have already exposed our Nintendo Switch by running different types of unsigned codes that are already flagged by Nintendo. You're going to get banned. First time users who are new to jailbreak, who owns a fresh Nintendo Switch capable of jailbreaking and has a clean NAND has never been exposed to any unsigned codes or stuff or previous jailbreak on sysnand then this video goes out to you you would be able to set up emunand and would be able to take the full advantage of it so what emunand does is basically it creates an emulated system partition which contains all the necessary system files and stores them into the SD card, thus keeping the original system partition on the Nintendo Switch clean or safe. You can switch back to official firmware mode and you can go online or connect to the Nintendo servers. Make sure that you have a working sysnand before creating an emunent. What this means is that the jailbreak files needs to be proper. Let me handle that part. I will provide you guys with the proper files which you just need to download and then follow through the video. If you want to know about switch jailbreak or how to start or move into step into jailbreaking and what stuff that you guys need to know about jailbreaking then there is a video that I have made I'm going to post the link sometime right now use a micro SD card that has good storage space because it's going to need a good amount of space on your SD card so I would recommend using from 256 gigabyte to 512 gigabytes that's going to be the best or ideal size for you guys for some reason I'm getting the FAT32 uh, partition here but uh, you might not get the FAT32 on the latest version of Windows they don't have the FAT32 format for some reason I'm getting this it's kind of surprising if you don't get this option through the traditional formatting method or procedure then there is a link that I'll be posting that will help you to download a freeware and you'll be able to format your SD card to the FAT32. Okay so I'm just going to go ahead and do a quick format and this will erase all the data. It's also advisable that your switch's SD card format is on FAT32 because it's the preferred format. I myself on my primary SD card I'm an XFAT user and I intend to keep it that way. Now just go to the link on the description and download the rare files to extract the contents you're going to get a folder just copy all the contents and then paste it to the root of your SD card uh, for Tegra RCM users just uh, make sure to go to the second link in the description and just download the payload file that's how you're going to boot into Hecate and then boot into fuse dot bin yeah that's how you're going to boot into atmosphere RCM loaders use the same link Connect your RCM loader, go into the Atmosphere Hecate folder and paste the payload.bin file. So now here we are done with all the stuff that we are required for the Emunant partition. I'm going to meet you guys on the Nintendo Switch. I've already used my RCM loader to boot into Hecate. This is the first screen that you're going to get. One pointer while trying to boot into Hecate through the RCM loader. If you're going to get a black screen, do not panic. It is completely normal. It happened to me till I just, you know, managed to boot into Hecate. So usually it might happen if the RCM loader is in low power mode, you know, needs to be charged. So make sure that your RCM loader is charged properly. There is no need to panic, the files are completely fine. So on this screen, you can set up the date and time if you want to. If not, you can just select done. So this here is where you're going to perform the emunant creation process. So go to EMU MMC and select create EMU MMC. Always select SD partition because SD file is not stable there is a chance of data corruption so SD partition is the way to go and here 
this here is the thing that is the second step my partition has already been created so now it's understandable why it was showing fat32 on the computer when i was trying to format it so the partition for the transferring of the files into mumc was already detected so for you guys what's going to happen is when you're going to select create emumc and select sd partition you're going to get another screen i'm going to post a picture and all you have to do is just drag that red bar till you see it's 29 and says full after that just go ahead and select next and it's going to you know back up all the files so before performing that step always make sure that if you want to back up your files on the sd card or stuff just back it up before on the pc because you're going to lose all those files now after that process has been completed you're going to head over into emu mmc again then create emu mmc and this here screen that you're going to see the part one is going to get highlighted i'm just going to go ahead and select part one and it's going to do its thing it takes a little bit of time i'm just gonna come back or step right back in once the process has been completed yeah there you go it's done time taken 15 minutes and 41 seconds the emunant process creation or however you want to put it has been completed so i'm just gonna go ahead and close this as you can see it says it has been enabled this is basically what you need to see so guys so after finishing with that process of creating the emunant and just you know transferring of the files and everything go to payloads and boot into fuse.bin and it's going to boot into atmosphere if you notice in the system settings the current version of switches firmware is 14.1.0 atmosphere is on its latest version 1.3.1 and as you can see it's e instead of s so that means we are on emunant right now so that means emunant has been successfully set up so okay so we are on the homebrew menu i'm just going to show you guys by running tinfoil to show you that everything is running perfectly fine so i'm using the tinfoil self installer just go ahead and perfect as you can see tinfoil has booted up now these games obviously they are on my other memory card i won't be able to play these games and here you are not seeing the new game section because it hasn't been set up so if you want to set up you know any links or stuff like that it's very easy to do just go ahead and press on minus and uh, you just need to put in all the details that you can gather i won't be able to show you guys because it's not allowed and i don't want my channel to get fucked so i want to support you guys in the coming days or months or years and yeah so this is how you install emunand on your nintendo switch however there are some games that are installed on the system's memory i don't know if that's going to work or not let's just go ahead and see i installed this game on the switch's system partition so i just wanted to show you guys that you know the games are running fine emunant creation and installation process or the file transfer process were done successfully yeah i have already provided you guys with all the latest sick patches and stuff that you guys need to have in order to successfully run all the applications and stuff so yeah this is how you set up emunant on your nintendo switch so yeah the switches original system partition is completely safe from any kind of exposure you guys would be able to boot into the official switches firmware and would be able to connect to the nintendo server let's just say you want to play with your friends on fortnite or any other games that are multiplayer game and needs internet connection you'd be able to do so without having to worry about getting banned finally so emunant creation process has been completed so from now on for any kind of switches updates and stuff like that i will be covering both the sysnand and the emunant that was it for this one if you found this tutorial useful please make sure to drop in a like and subscribe we are already on the way to a thousand subscribers very much excited until next time dr root 7 signing off peace